Warning, the following program may contain moments of great personal reflection, sudden and striking realization, things you should not try at home, the truth about cats and dogs, incomplete thoughts, rambling gibberish, completely ridiculous opinions, winning lottery numbers, things you could really care less about, barking dogs, and unfortunately, Mike and Stan. Who likes to be silly? I like to be silly. What kind of radio show is this? This town needs an enemy. Ah, uh, it's about to get all stupid up in here. Get up, get on up, get up, get on up. Get on up. Stay on the scene, get on up. I'm like a sex machine. Welcome get to an all new Open Mic Live right here on OpenMikeTheShow.com every Thursday at 7. Uh, simulcast on ironbroadcast.com, No Name Network, Raw Talk Online, and replays on 920 W in the Apple Overnight Fridays and Saturdays, Bubba Army Radio. Stan, what do we have on today's show? On today's show, we have Tim Trickloff. Hello. And Mr. Tommy Gill. What's up? Uh, Welcome, fellas. Familiar. This is a return visit for both of you, correct? Oh, yeah. I appreciate you both coming back. Now... You guys have a lot to live up to because we've had Rio and Cam on and Aneria and Jonas on together. Hey, so my right headphone doesn't work. It doesn't? Well, bro, Dude, listen. Bro, let's restart my, the show and fix that. It's like I'm my sure. first headset. I mean, you can't. like a DJ. Act like a DJ. Right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for coming in again. And uh, today we will talk with them about them a little bit. And we will talk about a Floridian, which it, this week is, I think, is something we can all relate to. The grumpy old fuck next door that tries to, you know, like, keep your ball or whatever. Have you ever had to deal with that? Kick your ball over the fence or, hey, get you off my I mean? lawn. Like or that, yeah, that, that, that guy. Neighbor. Me. This, no. drunk, this drunk dude drove by us one day. We were a bunch of nine-year-olds playing on the golf course, and he just yelled at us to stop playing on the golf course or he'd call the cops. I mean, he was kind of right, bro. A bunch of nine-year-olds really don't belong playing on a golf course. Yeah, Not only isn't it safe know, because there's fucking my, balls. In my younger, vulnerable years, I didn't realize that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we will also play Tyrese Trivia and Stanley Feud today. You guys will be playing against the, the listeners, as usual. And the winner, I'll tell you, the winner is going to have a surprise gift. Oh, a surprise to me, too. I know. Ooh. It makes it even better. Okay. So we're going to have a real winner? Just in or case it sucks. This, I didn't want which, you to shoot Which was that Stanley Feud? I was playing with buttons over there. I wasn't listening to you. Is that Stanley Feud or is that Tyrese Trivia? Stanley, Stanley. So anyway, so welcome, guys. Tell me. <laughs> is that a surprise to you? Oh, goody. A double surprise. <laughs> so you guys were coming in and, you know, I tried to do a little research and you're both a little bit younger, right? Like you were born in 89, correct? Correct. And you were 94, which isn't that far apart, but it's also not that long ago. I mean, really? I'm not, I'm not coming at you. I'm just saying I'm right. serious. Because like, I'm 43 and he's 62. So, I mean, yeah, we got a few freaking years 62? Uh-huh. Wow. Black belt crack. Wait. What? <laughs> no. I Jerome Tyree, that's pretty damn black. <laughs> <laughs> huh. But anyway, so I went and looked up some shit that happened when y'all were born. Like, you know how, that's, I realize that's tacky and it's been done a million times and all this shit. And it's like, oh, look, the year you were born, there's all this shit happened. You know what I mean? But every night, nostalgia is kind of cool sometimes. Shawshank Redemption came out. Oh, Shawshank Redemption did oh. come out. That's oh, actually uh, Forrest Hill. Uh, Forrest, Forrest, Gump, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Shawshank. Even more importantly, his Pulp Fiction came out. Forrest Gump now, stole the Oscars. Forrest Bullshit. Gump is way more. Shawshank should have won. Forrest Gump is superior to Pulp Fiction. Forrest Gump is superior to Pulp Fiction. Absolutely. No, Let's Forrest, go around the room. Forrest Gump is Whoa. the worst of the three. I think Shawshank should have won. Then Pulp Fiction. You youngsters, Gump. you don't know what you're. And how about you? About. I didn't know we were going to get so controversial. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> The show finally started, and I don't have anything to we'll say. We're throwing punches here at a few. Now I'm going to go four weddings and a funeral. Okay, I'm getting... <laughs> dude, actually, <laughs> for a dumbass that movie, that was not terrible, was it? Fucking Hugh Grant, dude. It's okay, I'm getting... No, no, hot. I'm getting it's in you. so terrible. Hugh, those movies. Right. Yeah. Hugh Grant, I'm My getting big hot. Fat Greek Hugh Grant for the win. Oh, yeah, I love Hugh Grant. He's oh, are you a movie guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Are you, do you, are you a movie guy? Uh, I watch them. I just don't remember them. Me, exactly. Like, yeah. I can't quote movies. Yeah. Everyone around me can do that shit. And it's like, ah, I'm laughing, but I really don't remember that shit. Yeah, <laughs> so that <was> you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you quote movies, right? Oh, all the time, man. So does this douchebag over here. I quote, like, very random shit movies. People yeah. don't. And it's not because I really can't follow, remember yeah. things. It's, it's, I don't remember that. Like, I, I can't remember things. Period? Period. Oh, really? Especially movies. S- like, there's, there's just not storage in my brain for that. Are you a music guy or are you just comedy? 
I don't know. I just bad memory. But I, yeah. I, would, ha- I would have a feeling that you don't like if you enjoyed uh, uh, Eddie Murphy's Raw or something. You probably have a hard time remembering some of the great lines that you like. Right? Yeah, I couldn't okay. quote it. Well, okay. from what I've seen in other people, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm a virgin. Love saying that, virgin. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> give it up for him. Oh yeah, that's, Jeff Louis that's with the prison, yeah, virgin, virgin, yeah. That's, but uh, for what I see, uh, people who get laid like aren't as into art. But like for me, like movies are like this is the most fun. I've had. Oh, that is absolutely incorrect. Bro. I've yeah. been writing my name while having sex for years. It's the next best thing, yeah. Right? Exactly. I mean, that is art. Having sex isn't art. You'll learn that one day. One day. Probably on PBS first thing in the morning. Maybe in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few I can send you. No. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> no. Like, send it, send it away. You could lose your away. virginity on camera. That'd be great. That'd be pretty cool. So you, your your year does win with movies because his year was like Honey I Shrunk the Kids and Dead driving, Poets Society. Driving Miss Daisy. Drive, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Yeah. yeah the take gold that. Match. Take that. Driving Miss Daisy. Good year. Good year for movies. But his year oh, wins with like I can't read. The, the toys and products <laughs> that were out. Three minute driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> I never saw it. I never saw it. Oh, I can't Tommy read. Tommy thought it was porn. <laughs> driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> I'll drive driving that bitch. Driving all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> but you're. Like I did the I did like products and shit too. In '94, there was nothing. There was like cards and shit. You know what I mean? Like magic and all that. But not that I was into most of these things. But they were all popular as fuck. In '89 was Teddy Ruxpin, Care Bears, Car- Garbage Pail Kids, Karate Turtles, and all of that sounds terrible. It, well, to us because it's stupid. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are not stupid. Garbage Pail Kids. Garbage Pail Kids what were amazing hell? when you were in elementary school and you could put the stickers. There's on garbage folders. In the no, <laughs> not all of them. Right? No, you're not a straight cat finding them, bro. You actually buy them in a store somewhere. It's not like Heathcliff. Have you ever seen a Garbage Pail Kid card? Uh, no? I'm happy to say I have. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's the point. Is we, You're not usually familiar with what took place when you were born, right? Well, I wasn't born in this country, so none of that applies. Uh, they don't have like, garbage where you come from? It still applies, but I was... I mean, uh, they got to have garbage over there, right? Yeah, a lot, a lot of... But not, they didn't turn them into cards. <laughs> Oh, dude, they're missing out on a market. It was just did. real life. You just <laughs> he's, had, he's had some culture shock right now. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It, it was. It was a play. If they're spoofs off of Cabbage Patch Kids, oh. so it was Garbage Pail Kids. That but it sense. was like Adam Bomb, and the card was like uh, it looked like a Cabbage Patch Kid, but his head was exploded, and like the A Bomb uh, nuke was coming out of his head. That's cool. For it kids. was clever. Yeah. yeah, it was clever as shit. Well, I mean, well, here, here's something that didn't actually, <laughs> wasn't Clever. here in 89, but HDTV was out in Japan, but they didn't let us have it until 96. Hoarders. Well, wait, that's what we get for nuking them, right? Oh, is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, this is for Hiroshima. We will hold this for 10 right. years. <laughs> hold <an> HDTV hostage. <laughs> <laughs> and what a loss that was. I mean, so how old were you when you moved here? I was five. Oh. So 94? Oh, so, oh, so. So you were getting ready for Forrest Gump to come out. Yeah, I couldn't oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't <laughs> wait. So we both, we both entered America the same year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? It's Forrest really Gump. <laughs> you followed Forrest Gump over here? That's but, what brought me over. I heard Forrest, Forrest Gump was Gump. coming out in America. Right. <laughs> Dude, that was, a, that was a smart move. <laughs> Flew right over. That was genius, bro. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's perfect. So you moved over here the year he was born. Yeah. Also partly the reason we heard you Tommy knew, oh, being born. <laughs> you, you got the memo? Forrest Gump and Tommy Gill being born. Right. <laughs> And we got our tickets. <laughs> Two greatest things that ever happened in 1989. 94. 94, sorry. You were the greatest thing to happen in 1989. Well, you're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so how is that? I mean, as a kid, like, I've, I've moved around when I was younger, you know what I mean? But it was from state to state. It wasn't, like, to another country. Right. Is that, do you have memories of that move? Or, you know, like, no, not really? No, I don't have a good You already memory. told me you don't, I don't remember, remember shit. remember. I should listen more I earlier. I was like, I tried to tell you I don't remember anything. Yeah. Are you kidding me? What did you play with over there when you were five? Myself. <laughs> five? I mean, I waited until I was at least eight. Or garbage. Or garbage? One of the two. Yourself or garbage? No, I, actually, actually I, I had a big barrel full of toys, and I played just in the barrel. I'd take all the toys out, and I'd play in the barrel. 
Like every other kid, right? That was my favorite toy. Dude, it's so funny because little kids, they do that, right? They'll take the toy out of the package and play with the package for the next three hours. What about when your parents got like a, uh, a new, um, uh, like a stove or a refrigerator yeah. and you got the big box to play in? Yeah, I, but the funnest day I've, the best day of my life to this day is when I forgot what they got, but they got two big cardboard boxes, and me and my brother would just run around the front yard Smash it and just run into each, each other. other. <laughs> <laughs> best day of my life. <laughs> I didn't know that you were going to hit each other. Oh, this. We don't. That's lucky. Okay. <laughs> and we couldn't get back up, so <laughs> we just laid there. <laughs> So fun. <laughs> so I can fun. Just picture him laying there with her feet kicking out of the oh, bottom of the box. That, was great. that is hilarious. <laughs> did either one of you ever get knocked out when you did that? Probably. It's probably I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> My short term memory comes from cardboard box. You. <laughs> so, you, so you have an old. Is it your brother older or younger? No, he's younger. Is he? Also 94. Oh, really? See? Same uh, age, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love that guy. What was that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go 94! Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But so, uh, real quick, the, one of the biggest things that happened in '94 was O.J. Simpson's Joyride. Now you guys were young, but you, you've obviously you're comedians, so you have to be what? familiar with with the news and shit like with that. Right? O.J., you know, I mean, you've seen it forever, of right? Of course, yeah. I mean, good football player, right? Exactly. And <laughs> he was awesome. He was awesome in Naked Gun. Too. He was awesome he in was Naked Gun. He freaking killed it. He's dude. a good actor. I he mean, is, yeah. <laughs> Kind of got him out of, out of jail. Yeah, what a movie's that stupid? It's pretty easy to be awesome in it. You can just overlook the murder part. Yeah, right. talking about, <laughs> talking about that scene. Guy. You could like really get into that scene in the first naked gun, where there's a bunch of like awful things happening to him, like a window closing on his hand. He like falls down the stairs in the in the wheelchair. It's like, yeah, take that, wife murderer. Yeah, just me and Tim both going. We believe yeah. it. <laughs> That's good. It was good. He's like, it's okay, in my book. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing that happened. Was um, Dice Clay was banned for life from cable TV for doing the nursery rhymes at the VMAs? Sweet, wow. like I don't remember that either. Don't get me wrong, but that's a pretty cool fact. Like they, I found that they, I'm like, like let wow. him back on TV every ten years, and he just a lifetime <laughs> ban from cable he just TV. Kicked off again, yeah. right? That's pretty. That's pretty awesome, right? He's got a show now on cable TV. He's had a show. Oh, like the, he's had the real, reality show. It's on Showtime, I think. Yeah, it's called Dice. Yeah, it's clever because he's a clever son of a Go bitch. Figure, yeah. Oh, what bad parents cable TV are, bro? They don't even stick to their guns. They punish him and they don't even freaking make him yeah. stay grounded for the whole time. That's bullshit. You can't, keep, a, can't keep dice off, you know. <laughs> you can't hold dice down. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll go to cable. What? Right. <laughs> we did so, but MTV was cable, right? You said that was MTV. Yeah, then? yeah. The VMAs, yeah, right? They, and they they banned them from regular TV for that. Or nope, they, just cable TV. I said. Yeah. Well, Showtime paid subscription, so. It doesn't count. And back then, they had no idea how big cable TV was going to get. It was going to be huge. MTV was... <laughs> Still playing Trends videos. Centers. Yeah. It was right. awesome. It's fucking huh. ridiculous. So real quick, before we start playing this game, we have a, one of the listeners wants to know, what happened to your hair? Scissors. 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 Who? He's, he's, he's a very wordy <laughs> guy. Hair? Who? Not you. No, okay. <laughs> no, no, I mean, which, which listener? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, LM Deo. I don't know. Oh, okay. uh, Never mind. oh, you thought you were going to know sure. one of my listeners? Yeah, yeah, I did. You would if you saw their face. Yeah, probably. But you're not going to know their names? Yeah, okay. Jesus Christ, Tommy. It worries me that someone <laughs> recognizes that I have short hair. hair now. Yeah. What, you mean that, uh, some, that someone who listens to us actually yeah. pays attention to you? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Scary shit. <laughs> All right, we're going to start a game, right? Shall we play a game? Pop quiz, hot shot. Because he built the rules. <laughs> You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's beat this thing head on. And you were you were in it to win it. All right. Name of the game is Real News or Fake News. And this is the game where I basically am going to give you a headline. And I want to know if the story behind it is true. Um, it's not going to typically be a blog or or something, you know, if it's a satire story like The Onion, it is fake news. Uh, so you'll figure it out as you go. You guys are part of our point system, so I want one of you to take one of those. And, and real quick, my playing head. with us is Smitty, Oz Golden, Connie Holgood, Luke McDermott, Pete Botto, Nitwit, oh, Alexis Marie, Nitas, Casey, LM Deo, N Deo, Tiff Mani, and some anonymous fucking people. So. Cool. All right, so the first question is worth how many points? Is that nine? 
I didn't say it. Like I'll, I'll, I'll watch next time. <laughs> 17. 17 nice. points. For 17 points, is this real news or fake news? You're playing along with the guys in the chat board and the gals in the chat board uh, and the kids. Nude sunbather at beach injured after crab mistakes her vagina for an oyster. <laughs> Nude sunbather at beach injured after crab mistakes her vagina for an oyster. Is this a real news story or a fake news story? Uh, real another Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> I'm going with real. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, I've made that mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went pinching and like, you're an oyster. You can't write that. <laughs> <laughs> so far, everyone on the board is fake. Unanimous there. Oz says real. Well, they have the power of the internet. I mean, we're just here on our web. They're answering pretty quick. Look, I mean, <laughs> you can cheat if you want, but... There's nothing to win, so you're just an asshole. What about the surprise? Or is that no, that's no, for that's Stanley, Stanley Feud. Feud. Yeah. Stanley Feud, okay. We only give prizes away for games that matter, bro. Come on. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for pride. What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? I like the bongos. On this. this is nice, yeah. yeah. All right, <laughs> real news or fake news? Nude sunbather at beach injured after crab mistakes her vagina for an oyster. Stan, you ready? We got points. That is anticlimactic. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely real. Nice. Real news that actually happened in Singapore. Oh, uh, Singapore. Okay. So the next question is worth how many points, guys? It's like a toss. Three. Oh, Three points. Damn, I was going for more than that. To, you did do it with authority, though. Off. I like that. <laughs> All right, so this one doesn't really matter if we get wrong or right. <laughs> Jorge Gonzalez, welcome. What's up, Jorge? Yo. <laughs> All right, next question worth Three points. Single guys who summer in the Hamptons Hamptons are getting vasectomies to thwart gold diggers. Single guys who summer in the Hamptons are getting vasectomies to thwart gold diggers. For three points, is this fake. real news or fake news? Fake. I'm going with real. <laughs> Wait, do we have to be yeah, unanimous? Do whatever you want. No. Yeah. Be yeah. your own man. Okay. Beating. Go out on a limb. <laughs> You're going oh, real. against each other? I'm going with real. Separate yeah. yourself from the losers. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot, a lot of stake here for three points. It is. The reason I'm going with real is because on the way to New York, like every other billboard was for vasectomies. Is it really? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> now that's real. It's that and buying land. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, so the guy, like the guy on the infomercial or... Like you can buy it in real estate now. Yeah, no, it was like it was like uh, 250 acres of swampland. You know, back now. Hey, that's how Disney started. So the trend centers. Right. Just set up 900 different corporations, so, so nobody knows that you're buying up land. <laughs> Dig it all out. Go bankrupt twice. Oh, and you got to be an anti-Semite too. <laughs> that's that's the rule. <laughs> yeah, that's a requirement too. So your good friend um, Jorge says, "Fuck Tim." Oh, come on, Hoy. <laughs> he's, he's mad because I didn't put him on that one night. Oh, is that what it was? I think. Uh, uh, maybe he's just an asshole. One of the <laughs> so he's parading you on our chat board. Yeah. I don't think that's the way he's going to get back at you, bro. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's a typo. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't spell. I don't spell. Say, I love him. <laughs> Goddamn autocorrect. All right, for three points, single guys who summer in the Hamptons are getting vasectomies to thwart gold diggers. That is... Absolutely real. That's a real oh, news story. Damn, it. damn right. Damn right. I don't know. I just want to. Anyone that summers anywhere, I want to punch him in the throat for some fucking yeah, They deserve a second. Right, you're going to have your three points. I'll take the three points. <laughs> <laughs> next right, question. Tough guy, let us know what the next point you're going to do. 19. Oh, nice. For 19 points. Doesn't have to stick either. That's cool. No. Hot topic employee fired for criticizing the nightmare before Christmas. Yo, that, oh, you, you know what? Real, real, it's got to be fake now, right? So I'm going to go fake. 
We're running the uh, statistics there. I like I like the way you just did that shit. Like he wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. Well, I can rule out number one because I like that though. The deduction. How, how do you Wait, feel about that? a hot topic employee fired because he for criticizing the nightmare before that sounds, Christmas. That sounds like a humor article. Man. It sounds yeah. It sounds it, it sounds fake. First Amendment. You know what's going on? First Amendment. <laughs> no Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Comedian has fake picture of beheaded president. <laughs> no, no, that's real. Is it comedian? <laughs> comedian type person. <laughs> Imagine how pissed people would be if it was like really Donald Trump's head. <laughs> I guess it'd be 50 50, right? Yeah, 50 Or 49 50. 51. That, how pissed the people that are already pissed would be. <laughs> that, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> people that like Donald Trump. Baron would have been pissed. Of course, he should be pissed anyway for having a name like Baron. Baron. <laughs> <laughs> he probably summers in the Hamptons. <laughs> yeah, he does. They already get, he already got a physique. <laughs> Summer in the Hamptons. Trump's like, you have the greatest penis that I could produce for you, son. Now get that thing snipped. You don't want these whores coming after you. It ends here. You the line still, ends you here. Can, <laughs> you can still pee on prostitutes. It's fine. <laughs> But wait till you're 17. Six, Send on 16. high note. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Hot topic employee fired for criticizing the nightmare before Christmas. That was uh, 17 points. 19. 19. That's why you're keeping to her, and I'm reading. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> for 19 points, <laughs> I think she was fired for something else. You may be right. And I may be crazy. You may be wrong. For 19 points. <laughs> the news is fake. Yeah, this fake news. So you can just guess whatever I guess and you'll, and you'll win. Yeah, the advantage me. you're going first. Against me, yeah. Only when there's real points on the board, because if there's three, he's got this shit. Yeah. Right? No, I mean, like, if, he, if he follows shit. me, he could beat me. He might, we might both Now he could, yeah. Lose, yeah. True that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm ahead by three points. Exactly, that's what he's saying. So no matter what he answers, you can win by three right just now. An, yeah, just answer the same oh, thing I answer. That's true. Yeah. Well, I didn't even think of that strategy yeah. until you... Well, you're welcome. Come to <laughs> Next strategist. question is worth how many points? But I want to blow you out of the water. This is <laughs> for bragging rights. That's a bullseye. 25. Oh, yeah. At least mine's getting stuck on the board. <laughs> Why are you giving him the toss? My bad. <laughs> My bad. Now, I got one on the bar, dude. All right. For how many points oh, was yeah. that? <laughs> bullseye? Yeah, 25, 25 points. Did... Tainted, did a tainted buffet cause severe di- a severe diarrhea incident at a strip club? Real. Absolutely. Tainted buffet causes severe diarrhea. Think about all the innuendos incident. in that fucking Real. thing. Real. Tainted <laughs> buffet at a strip club. How many taints have you seen at a strip club? How many what? Taints? How many buffets have you seen at a strip club? Uh, you haven't been to the That's right ones. <laughs> only you mean the wrong I mean, one? Only, the, only been to two. Is it the Penthouse Club has one? No, uh, yeah, penthouse one. They have, well, they have food. They have a steak. You can get steak and taint. Sure, yeah. <laughs> steak and taint. It's like surf and turf. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just Everyone's saying turf. real. It's got to be real. It's got to be. Tainted buffet causes a severe diarrhea incident we at a strip club. Diarrhea one incident. fake on the board. Only one fake. Huh? Yep, whitey. Nitas. Now, I like, a, this I like elect- incident because it, it implies that there's like a, it's like a situation. Well, this, right. a, <laughs> this alleged <laughs> report may have happened in Jacksonville, so you can imagine what kind of taints are there, right? And what kind of seafood <laughs> buffet? Would you ever eat at a strip club? Like, I'm not even getting finger food at a strip club, bro. To be quite honest with you, finger food. You get fingered. This is good. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, hmm. I could. I could just do without it. It's fine. <sighs> All right, for twenty-five points, tainted buffet causes severe diarrhea in a Jacksonville strip club. That is, the news is fake. Absolutely fake, ha, suckers. Yeah, where's your deductions now, there, buddy? I saw that article, but I guess it was a it fake was article. It was a fake article. Yeah, I saw and that article has been on posted, Facebook. I think it's called the Something Herald, but it's a satire. So that was a good. Yep, that was a good. You know, fool. You fooled me. Yeah. I fooled me too. <laughs> I was going to use it for a Florida story, but then yeah, I was I'm like, like Ooh, I, should, I should fact check that. Like self-important. It's like you guys were like, all right, how are we going to fool Tommy before? <laughs> we spent we, the last week planning this show on fake Tommy Tommy. against you. Well, you too. Oh. We're more worried about him. <laughs> Next question is worth how many points? 
as Tim saves Never Rob. Tossed. There we go with this. All right. Big bucks. 20 points. 20 points for 20 points. Make sure I got this right. And da 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 for 20 points. All right, guys, move it. Move it. Sorry, things aren't working. Okay. Trump supporters sick of being insulted by mean liberal snowflakes. Is this a real news story or a fake news story? About how Trump supporters are sick of being insulted by mean liberal snowflakes. Snowflakes, huh? That sounds true. Fake. <laughs> Fair <enough. laughs> true and fake. We got another fake on the board. Fifty fifty split. Because you know, this is America. There's a lot of snowflakes and a lot of Trump supporters. Ha! Did I just pick a side there? I says true, true, real, real, true. Jaime Blanco. True. Everyone believes it. Oz and Dale are on the Facebook chat, which you can get involved if you're friends with us on Open Mic Live's friend page. If not, then uh, ask a friend or click add friend and we might add you. It's pretty good music for... Waiting for the answer. You like that? Yeah, yeah. I, sometimes I just zone out on it. I forget we're playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kidding. For, <laughs> it like that, that driver music. You ever play Driver? The PlayStation? No, was a game one. called Driver? Yeah, Driver. That's surprising. You'll never guess what you yeah, do. It's about golf. Favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> it's Facebook Driver. <laughs> Uh, I I I rec- I know that I know the name. I know it's on PlayStation. I don't remember the music. It's like this. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> For twenty points, the music's like this. Trump supporters sick of being insulted by mean liberal snowflakes. <laughs> While I'm sure they are, this the news is fake. It's fake news. All right, you ready for a score update? You need a second. Mm, damn it. I got it. All right, so All let's right. do a score so update. Tommy has 56, Tim has 39, Oz has 39, and Dale with 42. Then we have a 12, a 22, a bunch of threes, another 22, threes. a 23, a 19, and a 25. You can thank Tim for your threes. Next question, it's last your question. Face. He tried to tell you to just <laughs> answer whatever he Sorry. answered. It's the last question. Last question is worth how many points? 40. 40 points. 40. What the hell? Where the hell's 40? We no, multiply the last. Double oh, okay. That's how we I was roll. trying to hit the one so that no, <laughs> so that no one could beat me. Is this real news <laughs> but I it or the fake news? Two charged with force feeding beer to alligator and posting pics to Snapchat. Two charged with force yeah, feeding beer I, I want you to go first, to but um, I'll go with real. I was going to go with true. But I gotta go with fake if yeah, I want any yeah, chance of winning. So I'm going with fake. As of right now, you're the only one that thinks this is a fake story. It's because everyone's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Snowflakes don't like that word. <laughs> I do like the way that people think that Trump supporters are the pussies that are worried about something when else talking shit. Well, they are, though. Huh? They are. Though. They just shoot their They're ass. just as pussy as the pussy Arms. snowflakes. Everyone's whining. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter who you are. Everyone's a bitch. Here comes the <laughs> blogs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> vote libertarian. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. But don't vote. Don't vote. Yeah, I'm done. I'm actually unregistering to vote. <laughs> I just don't want to be bothered. Can't you just not vote? Do you really have to no, unregister? I want to unregister. I don't want to be counted as a registered voter. I That's how you. little I care about the system. Yeah, but if you stayed a registered voter and didn't vote, then maybe you could get the point across that more people are not voting. How about people are actually unregistering to vote because they hate the system so much? I like that oh, one. Okay, that's good. We're yeah. boring, Tommy. He's over there. I was gonna, I, 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 want, I wanted to watch uh, got someone to go. Mike live. Oh, on my phone. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> I was gonna try happened. to do the infinite mayor thing. Last question <laughs> worth how many points? Two charged with force feeding beer to a gator. Posting pics to Snapchat. Forty points. The news is absolutely real. Real. Oh damn. And I have a feeling. Does that give us a tiebreaker? No. How, how Perfect. You... Good. I'm glad. I don't want to deal with a tiebreaker. No, Tommy Gill wins with 96 points. Damn, Tommy Gill yeah. didn't even. Oh, 
Dude, you busted out with the last few questions. Oh, yeah. This is the best. Woo! All <laughs> right, Tommy, way to go. Now it's time for us to take a little break. When we come back, booze break. We're going to be talking to Tim and Tom. Booze break. I said booze break. Booze, booze break. <laughs> you, don't actually have to, you can actually get up and go get yourself uh, yeah. a <laughs> I plan on it. <laughs> All right, we're going to get a beer, take a leak, and drink more beer. When we come back, Tim and Tom in studio. Check us out, openmiketheshow.com. Tell your friends, tell your family. You don't want to miss this interview because there's nothing else on TV, and we're way cooler than that. See ya. Child, when you're listening to Open Mic Live, you bitches. Welcome back to an all new Open Mic Live segment number two. Segment number two. Segment. The interview. The interview. Dun dun dun. Not really an interview though, is it? Not really. Just, just kind of talking shit with these with these guys. We'll learn a little bit about them. You will. Probably. Well, let's start now. What segment are we on? Number yeah. two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Throw the ball and we'll tell you. Segment <laughs> <Stuck with> 19. <laughs> so, welcome, guys, again. And um, this time, it's like roll call so people know who's who. Mr. Tim Trickloff, welcome. Hello. And freaking Tommy Gill. That guy. I swear to God. Something You're going to criticize yeah, the process of elimination. Guy, <laughs> That's a great introduction, right? <laughs> fucking Tommy Gill. So, welcome, guys. So, you guys have both been pretty busy lately, right? I see you on the move everywhere. Seems like I like all of a sudden in the last few months you seem I see you performing more and more. Is that right? Or is that wrong? I've been trying, yeah. I'm trying to do more. Yeah. This is going well. <laughs> <laughs> like, like how much more? On a scale of one. Jesus. All right, so Tim, I hope you have more words. How you doing, bro? <laughs> I haven't been busy. Yeah, yeah, I know you have. I know you haven't, but I mean, oh, you know. When when you're a star you like you, bro, you don't need to be busy, right? No, okay. Is that what it is? I don't Not know. Really. Sure. I mean, why? What have you been doing? What have you been doing with yourself? Sleeping. <laughs> are you ser- big, Are you being serious? A big habit sleeper. You sleep a, a lot? Big sleeper? Yeah, yeah. Is that why you can't remember? I don't shit? get a lot of gigs, so... Uh, Maybe you should be more like yeah. Tommy over there. Yeah, like five or so. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's not that you don't get... I mean, don't... At this stage of the game and right now, you don't get gigs, right? Like, you... Go for gigs. You go get yeah. gigs. I don't do yeah, we, don't, we don't really ask. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, you why? guys are real go getters. Yeah, no, we're, we're just afraid of rejection. Because, I mean, I've heard yeah. you both, and it's it's great stuff. So, I mean, why wouldn't you want to get out there? You've got to be getting good responses when you do perform, right? I'm, wait, I'm waiting for someone to ask me. I want to be, be pampered. But you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the yeah. shit? You gotta are, walk oh, is this for real right now? <laughs> is this really happening? You don't want to whore yourself out. Oh, oh you don't. Yeah, cheap Who whore. doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Cheaper the better. Just thirsty for taste. Have yeah. you guys ever? Have you guys ever worked the same show? Have you? I mean, like the same night, same stage, same. You know what I mean? Have you ever done that? Yeah, I mean, there's, probably, uh, yeah. there's pokies on Thursdays. He says yeah, probably a couple, times, a couple times. Yeah, I mean, it's Maybe. tough. I've right. seen this guy around. Yeah. Oh, you, have you? So who gets the bigger response? <laughs> who's, who's funnier? You would. You would. Who's better at standing up? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you you do have a brother, which I met at your uh, your party. My party, yeah. Right. Which I don't understand the, the party. My end of Lent party. I gave up beer for Lent because um, I wasn't gonna. But second day of Lent, I got so drunk. And it was after it, it was after this interview. The last time I was on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I drank. Six Bud Lights here, which, do, which I'm doing today, so obviously. <laughs> but uh, so so that done. Lent, can't change my ways. So, but that like, I went to Pokey's, drank a bunch of beer. Now, I stayed, I stayed there a while to like let the ABV wear off, but I was driving home at 5 a.m., so I was like really sleepy. I thought I was getting off at my exit. Turns out I was getting off at like a random truck stop. I had no idea where I was. Did you get lucky? I activated the GPS and past um, fifty. Basically, I missed the turn for seventy five, so I had to turn around to Dinosaur World and go back to seventy five. Did you stop at and Dinosaur then, World? And then I was like, uh, 
All right, guess I'm giving up beer for lead. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weak. You don't have a cool story behind it. Did you do something at Dinosaur, at Dinosaur Land? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, it was like you said, 6 I fucked a Tyrannosaurus. If I, if I waited like a couple hours, probably would have opened. But <laughs> You're not kidding, though. Yeah, if I'm that drunk and I end up at Dinosaur Land, I've got some selfies that are coming out of that shit. Uh, right? I'm going to quit drinking anyway. So right. <laughs> yeah, it's when you know you have a drinking problem when you end up at Dinosaur World at 5 right. <laughs> It leaves. <laughs> Right, you're pouring beer, pouring beer down a Tyrannosaurus Rex so you can slide down the pitch and jump off the back yeah, like we have a <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell! So you guys really aren't doing jack shit. I mean, <laughs> that's why I like we're hair. doing this. So I mean, our that, careers that, I mean, are that really now. I know why you got time to come into this month. Yeah, this, is not, this is the highlight. That is I mean, beautiful. it's all down, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's not talk about what you're doing now because that's nothing. Let's talk about what you used to do. You were a teaching assistant at USF. Is that real? Yeah, that's real. For what kind of class? I was teaching, like, PowerPoint, Microsoft Word and shit. Really? Yeah. But you ended it assistant. You were like, teaching's not for me? Well, well uh, you could only do it for a year. So, oh, since they didn't so ask just, you to come back. Yeah, you could only I'm not going to go. <laughs> did they at least say bye? Or? Like, nope, you're done. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, did you actually go apply for the class, or did someone come and say, look, I'm going to upset you? I applied for it because it was, like, a tuition waiver, so... Oh, so you got it for uh, for tuition paid? Yeah, free, yeah, free, okay. free college. So. Work in the system. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I like his style, bro. <laughs> did, did you go to college? I did. Did you really? Clearly. Where? Huh? <laughs> Was that say? obvious? <laughs> I'm here. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing but the highest education yeah, yeah. come through here. This is what degrees do for you kids. <laughs> <laughs> this is where dropouts go. Stay in school. <laughs> Did you really? What'd you go for? I mean, I'm, I realized it didn't last, but what'd you go for anyway? I, I got a degree. You did? Yeah, I got a piece of paper that says I have a lot of debt. They, they have degrees for, like, home ec? <laughs> no, I mean, what'd you get a degree in? <laughs> <laughs> I should have dropped out. Maybe I would have wound up a right. uh, better situation. Right. <laughs> you'd have been, you'd have been famous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'd be have been Bill well. Gates. Bill Gates dropped out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. So did David Letterman. That's no. That's not a good example. Well, I, I guess really he wasn't very. Uh, no, yeah, good for Didn't him. Jobs do? No, I don't. It, Steve Jobs yeah, only did. idiots finish college. Yeah, this is true. Cost Actually, too much money to finish. You went to college, right? No. Oh yeah, yeah. Not all the idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them. You gotta start it first, right? You gotta start college. So he doesn't want to tell me what his degree was in. Oh, it's an uh, it's an environmental science. Underwater basket weaving. That's my minor. Okay. So what? <laughs> I actually knew that. But my Why'd question, you ask? So that you could actually say something. Because uh. <laughs> you're supposed to talk. Something. But I mean, like, what made you go in for that? Like, environmental science is kind of an odd subject, right? I mean. Well, I started off at business, and uh, the math got too hard. That makes sense. Because you got to do some serious, uh, what, uh, trigonometry shit, don't you? Yeah, I couldn't even get out of pre cal, so. You're stupid. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I can't even start. So pre-cal. I took plants and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do math, but I can drop a seed in the fucking soil. Yeah. I can so. Yeah. Yep. So, what was the coolest thing about? What's the? I mean, to you, what's the most interesting thing about that type of that field? Uh, I learned a couple of fun facts. Okay. Like, uh, like ants could take over the world if they really wanted to. Like, there's more ants by weight than people. Are you serious? So, what's stopping them? Yo, yo. They're dumb ants. So it's like your bit on flies inspired by your yeah. environmental science degree. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, not the flies <laughs> part, but all the other stuff. Because <laughs> yeah. they're like the worst army ever. They that's march in funny. line until something sends them off in a direction. They have an ADT, like, right? Like, Ooh, like <laughs> then, right, then they're like a cat with a pen light. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just take off in another it's, direction. It's $20,000 to learn like three fun facts. And that's 20 grand? <laughs> is that how much? It, are, you, are you serious? Yeah, tomatoes are fruits. I don't know if you know that. Right, yeah, exactly. yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. yeah, I didn't spend any money on Googled. college. I knew that. <laughs> I could have Googled that. So what's the third one? You don't even remember? I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, you should have at least it's remembered the top one. three. I mean, only three things you had to remember from fucking college. $20,000. Uh, I learned spent. a lot of stuff about bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and like dirt. Apparently topsoil is really important. <laughs> Monsanto. So what's gotten you further? Yeah, Monsanto's evil. What's gotten you further? Comedy yeah. or, or your science degree? Or your three facts. <laughs> further? In well, life. Uh, my college degree got me a, a job to move to Tampa. So, From where? From Georgia. Okay, so you, at least to improve the statistics or your, your, uh, your area in comedy... 
to advance there, that was a, probably a better move. Yeah, there's more. There's more of a comedy scene here than than my hometown. So that was so your degree actually came in handy for something. You did, yeah, see, like you in a roundabout advance. way. Yeah. Awesome. See, you got to look at the bright side. I mean, how old sure. were you when you started doing comedy? When you decided, you know what? It's like three years ago. Are you being serious? I wouldn't lie to you, man. Yes, <laughs> you might. Not about that. I mean, I do trust you. <laughs> but me, not that you much. would lie to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been doing it? I started like seven years ago, but two years taking it seriously. I hate telling people I started seven years ago. Cause so, uh, okay, so you started not, seven years I'm ago. Not I mean, good, I'm, not, I'm not good enough to be seven years in. That's a long engagement, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Five-year <laughs> engagement is kind of long, right? Yeah. Like, you know, all right, we're going to be together. But in five years, I'm actually going to take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, I mean, like, what what made that transition? Like, you got into it, but didn't really get into it. So, what made you decide to take it seriously? It gave well, out. I was just sort of deluding myself as to how many mics I had to do a week. Like when I was in college, I was like, okay, I'm going to start doing one a week. That's a lot. Like. You know, so one a week is a lot. That it seemed like a lot at the time. That's hilarious. So, but like, I just kept sort of upping it slowly. So, where are you at now? Two? Like seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. Man. <laughs> no, but I'm serious, where are you at now? How uh, many? How many about? I mean, I know it's like not the same six, every week, but six. Oh, really? So yeah. you? Oh, my, wow. That's that's full time. Yeah. That's that's pretty awesome. I mean, is it the same kind of places that you go? Or, or like, I mean, I saw you out at, uh, what, what do you call it? Port Charlotte. Port yeah. Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, easy to forget. Wow. <laughs> right? I mean, dude, you're awesome. Your material is just, it's great. I mean, first time I saw you was at Baron Brownies, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. And after after the podcast, you hadn't seen me when yeah, we did the podcast, yeah. Yeah, I hadn't seen, right. There's yeah. been a few of those. There's like, they come in here, and yeah. I just assume they're funny because everyone tells me they are. <laughs> and so far, I've been lucky because everyone's been funny after I go to freaking <laughs> see them. You know what I'm saying? Like, except comedian. for Tim. Fucking guy. No. <laughs> can't catch a break. First, I feel like first, that was a first fuck yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, how do you, like back to places like that? It's, that's a rough crowd to play to, right? Because it's kind of out of no, no, uh, Port Charlotte. Port that, Charlotte. The demographic is a little different. Yeah, no. The time you saw me, I did a lot better than the first time I went there. The oh, first time so, there, really? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was, it was tough. Yeah, because I mean, you're not really rough on the crowd. And that's a crowd you kind of got it to bite into, like Rio did. I did it a l- I did it a little more the time that I was the second time I was there, but yeah, no, it's still something I got to work on. Yeah, it's an odd room. It is. You've you've done it too. I've done I've done like their open mics. I haven't done. That's, it what, that's, that's what it was, right? A chubby's. It was chubby's. Like, it was yeah, like wasn't show, that yeah. an open mic? Now I want an open mic. Oh, really? Well, not at the time. I don't know if they have an open mic there, but I got you. So those those nights that you got that you guys go out there, those are. Those are structured like Just shows. Twice. Yeah, those were shows. Yeah. Holy shit! So, so they set these shows up, and still the crowd is out there just sitting there staring at you for the most part. Yeah, I mean Rio, Rio and Jonas did pretty good. But yeah. shout out to Rio, yeah. Jonas. <laughs> Rio, <laughs> Rio watching. Rio will grab a, a crowd by the throat and just he pretty called, much shake them around, right? <laughs> Yeah, almost like, literally. He called this dude rude and racist. Like R- he called him R and R for like rude and racist. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I mean, it's like the funniest shit. Cause That's it's, great. He's got like just some uh, really absurd shit. Rude and it's racist like, sounds like a remix of bad it's bougie. Like, it's right. Like, it's just like <laughs> well, it's just like rude is like such an innocuous word, and racist is like <laughs> it's funny to like right. put them together. Yeah. <laughs> so like I mean like like you say you don't go seeking them out, but do you do you turn down? Like, when people do say, hey, Tim, why don't you come do the show with us? No, I mean, it, you don't turn them down. Nothing. You just don't seek them out. Is that correct? We don't, we don't turn anything down. Yeah, I said Tim. Uh, Except for this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Except for this. I'm you being, wish I'm you'd being, turn this down. being a prima donna. I, guess, <laughs> so. I can answer for him. Right. <laughs> right. I don't heckle you when I you're speak for your both of show. us. Yeah, this is my, my manager. <laughs> He's not talking person, without bro. his lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so, excuse me. Um, so you were at his party that, that we showed up at, right? I was, yeah. Dude, what a what a weird transition. That party turned out to be a great party. 
I liked your wife saying that she was the only chick at the party. <laughs> until, <laughs> well, like, at the, until, in the until beginning, until right, she yeah. was. Well, and then it doubled. And then it doubled, and, right. And so there was it, two of stopped, them. So two, yeah. I right. Mean, and know. then your brother showed up for a little while with his, so that his made three. Okay, three. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. They, they weren't there for very long because John no. Jacobs was fucking picking on him. <laughs> You don't remember that? He walked no, John, in. He, went, he, he was picking on my brother? No, he was picking on you. He was picking on, no, he loves me. Chad Jacobs no. loves my brother. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> if he didn't love you, he wouldn't be talking shit about you. No, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's, it's, it's it's huge. Huge. It's it really is yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, if he's not talking about you, there's a good chance he probably doesn't like you. <laughs> no? Is that no, wrong? Yeah. No, I think, I think you're right. That yeah, old yeah, adage yeah. is kind of true. I realize it's overplayed, but it, it is true. Yeah, like if they're not talking about you, then they just don't give two shits about you anyway. Yeah, yeah. If they are talking about you, well, you're just easy. It's all love, man. Right. It's all love. <laughs> it's, all, it's all love, baby. But you were feeling pretty good, dude. I like at that. Par- at the party? Oh, yeah. Isn't well, th- you, you must have left early, but. <laughs> <laughs> should have seen him at the end of the night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Yeah. There was a lot, of, a lot of puking. Eli- okay. <laughs> so it's ABB funny. ABB change. Elijah. <laughs> Elijah. He was there's two beds in the place. Elijah's just like just picked a random one. It was my bed, so I slept in my brother's bed. My brother's like, Who slept in my bed? I'm like, Me bitch <laughs> <laughs> I read a kid's book like this once. <laughs> Who slept in my bed? <laughs> I mean, but, dude, what a fun place. And like you said, she said she was the only chick there. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. What was weird is me and her, when we, you know, after it started filming a little bit, we're looking around, and she goes, I think we're the only ones here that aren't comedians. And then, actually, Jorge asked me, are you guys the only ones here that aren't comedians? I'm looking around going, oh, fuck. You were two of are the we f- at the wrong place? Of, you were two of the four. Two, right, your brother and his wife, right? Two of the six, then, if you count that. Okay, his they don't wife, count? Uh, <laughs> 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 they're all they, they made like a cameo yeah that's here. true they it's, didn't yeah, stay very long like, yeah what's your brother do oh, he's doing an internship right now on channel side but yeah he's he's doing, he fun- basically, he's doing basically the same thing i'm doing he's about to start the masters that i did I mean, and do you guys have a lot of similarities i mean is he a funny guy behind the scenes or not really not so much he's funny i think i don't think he could handle bombing <laughs> So like that's like sort of the what different I think he, I think he'd be very good at it if he could deal with the bombing. Right. Yeah, so. So I mean you've been doing it 2 years, right? I mean so everyone there isn't a comic out there that hasn't bombed at least once or twice, correct? Right. But when you say bombing, was, does that mean that you didn't get a laugh the entire time or does that just mean that eh, it wasn't great? If I say bomb cuz I'll I'll say some crazy shit. <laughs> like like a Pegasus once, I was it's called all strippers whores arbitrarily, which wasn't particularly right. Either, or the right place but to I was, say because I was drunk. Are either strippers or whores. But I was drunk, and some chick was like, "I am a stripper." I'm like, uh, "Okay, well, Whore. I kind of gave, I kind of, I kind of. <laughs> oh man, that would have been perfect. <laughs> would have been perfect. But I just gave up. Man, you just, yeah. Well, I rest my case. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. Good for you, whore. <laughs> 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 just because she's no. so like how do you do how did you deal with it the first time you bombed I mean it just, is it crushing do you leave the yeah. building or do you go out back and just talk to the comic I mean how do you you know what I mean usually after bo- no comic wants to talk to you after bombing it's uh Oh, you like pretty well. I, I just stare at the floor pretty much. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. Kick a can in the parking lot. <laughs> dink, dink, dink. But I mean, it motivates you to get better. It, so. doesn't, it doesn't feel that bad on stage because for me, it's just, I'm just like, I'm just, it just didn't, doesn't even feel like it's happening on stage. But when I get off and I'm like now a member of the audience <laughs> that thought I was a crazy, you know, Right. And then, then I'm like, okay, I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yes, Mom's Pepsi. That is, that is the irony of Mr. Tommy Gill is he's wearing a Santa Claus shirt and calling strippers whores. That's great. So she's like, how <laughs> can you call them whores in that shirt? <laughs> like, I don't know. So, I mean, like. Multifaceted. Like you said, you want to steer at the floor. Like, the whole way home, are you thinking about, cha- are you changing jokes in your head on the way home the whole time? Not really. Uh, Are these very difficult questions? I mean, should, I'm, I'm usually just falling asleep on the interstate <laughs> and ended up at Dinosaur World. But 
I mean, we can, we that's can what I do when I go bomb. I go to an the amusement park. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> picks me up. <laughs> I like to feel better. I go to a strip club. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> there's just whores there. All right. Oh, okay, listen. <laughs> let, 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 let's it. Do you listen to music? No. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, of course. Of course. God damn it. I've never heard of it. What are you talking about? What is this music thing you speak of? What, what's your? Like, I just listen to babies crying. I have a CD. <laughs> There's music to my ears. <laughs> so you're not, if you like to punch babies, then that's what you yeah. get to hear. Do you punch babies? Uh, I have the soundtrack, Punch Babies, n- number nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I call crying babies. <laughs> <laughs> a kid's bop. <laughs> Shut up, I'll give you something to cry about. Yeah, kid's bop. Kid's <laughs> 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 you ever punched a baby? <laughs> Dude, it sounds like fun. <laughs> it's another Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Every time I bomb, boom. So, how about you? When you bomb, I mean, do you. Are there jokes? Do you pick jokes out that you're reworking, or do you go over the, the whole thing? Do you just. You can't stop thinking about it. Because, I mean, if it was me. I mean, it, it like. Con- it concentrates the mind wonderfully. It sort of makes you feel like doing it more and doing it less at the same time. I mean, have you ever asked, I mean, have you ever gotten off and went, dude, what the hell happened up there to somebody else? You know what I mean? Like Rio or like Jonah. I mean, have you ever done that? I mean. No? You just don't want to talk about it type of thing? I just want to get out of there. (laughs) Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, I I, I can get that. So so getting on stage you is a step out of the comfort zone anyway. That's not something that you. No, no, I don't, I don't really feel. I don't really feel that uncomfortable even when I'm bombing on stage. It's just getting off and having to deal with <laughs> the people that I bombed for. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you got to join the crowd. Because you know? <laughs> when you're up there, I'm you're not up on there, a pedestal it's... anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we just exactly. sit there and not laugh at the next guy. You're powerless. <laughs> Actually, but aren't you more powerful? I mean, don't you, don't you think that even if you bombed up there, you know you're a funny person, right? I mean, not after bombing. Comes and goes. <laughs> those, are, those are jokes, though. But your natural person is funny. The like, problem is, we funny, see, you can walk we see people crowd and make do people well laugh. without being funny. So it's like, maybe we're not funny. <laughs> it's weird. It's just a look of the draw. Yeah. There's a lot of music out there that sucks, but people are popular. You never know. There's some bad fucking There's music some out there. There's horrible music out there. That's why we, I, I switched to local music. That's all I listen to anymore is local music because the music's pretty bad. Or that and Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That's our power greatest Rangers of all time. Yeah, we we trade, dude. We spent what forty five fucking minutes in one night just going back and forth with Billy Joel. As soon as you said you had a special surprise, I was just thinking, does it surprise me <laughs> at all? <laughs> Nylon curtain. <laughs> <laughs> what? Once you tell someone you have a surprise for them, you have lost the element of surprise. That's true. Oh boy. <laughs> Now you've now just created angst. That's Carlin. That's all Carlin right there. <laughs> you've just created now, angst. you don't bring yeah. it with you, then yeah. it's surprise. You're, I lied. <laughs> anyway, so I've, I've learned a lot about myself <laughs> in interviewing. Okay. Um, I need to ask you guys a lot more questions before the show. So huh. <laughs> I, I know what you want to talk about because you scare me right now. Like, I have no idea what you're thinking what? about me right now. I, I don't think. The, I mean, like, the, the I don't look at this looking at me <laughs> and, you know, taking my clothes off with your eyes. No. Well, that what? sucks. Now, Is now, that what you think? I'm, I'm insulted. That's odd. <laughs> it's odd. It's wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break, Mike. When we come back, open Mike's favorite game and a surprise surprise. And then Florida Stories after that. More of us when we come back. You're listening to Open Mic Live. Hey, this is Cam Bertrand, and you're tuned into Open Mic Live because you make good decisions. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Check out Cam Bertrand all over the place. I usually see him at side splitters when I go in there. Now it's time for Open Mike's favorite game. Stanley Feud. So Stanley Feud is my version of another popular game. What is it? What is it? What is it? So what I do is I make up five questions every week, and then I survey people on Facebook. The last couple weeks I was up to 98. 
this week because of the holiday weekend, I didn't get the questions out. The, yeah, too late. If they don't answer, do you, do you I yell at them. The, the answer be damn it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened was like someone actually came at me because they forgot to answer them. Yeah, and then they were like. Damn it, I forgot to answer him. You need to remind me. I'm like, oh, oh okay. I don't want to be a dick. You know what I mean? It's like, you answer me. So then when, when they said I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to be a dick about it. If I'm going to remind Someone you. else is going to complain to you about you. Right. Oh, we've got several. I've gotten several of them. That's why I started doing it. I didn't want to, you know. It's like, delicate. I don't want to, you to think that I believe all you have to do is answer these goddamn questions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, there's more. But if you ask, I'll, I'll give you whatever you want, pretty much. So anyway, the moral of the story is this week we're down a little bit. We are down to 89 people responded this week because I got the questions out late. Lower, lower sample size. So you're going to get the top five answers out of all of them tallied. Number one's worth five. All others are worth one. And here we go. What sitcom have you watched the most, past or present? Seinfeld. So disappointing. I want to say Seinfeld might be one Friends. Most I, I, I watched more Friends than um, Seinfeld. Is Master Sitcom? Ah, it's welcome. Dean, welcome. James Dungeon, welcome. Mike Peter, welcome. Yes, Master is a sitcom. I thought it was more of a dramedy. Same shit. If, if Itty is in it, then it's a freaking comedy. Are we guessing like the most or personal? What you think. Yeah, well, what you think. What you think is the most, the most. Yeah. Here's the thing popular. is, like, my... my Responders, my surveyors, uh-huh. really do range in in age uh, and demographics, cool. yeah, so yeah. it's tough. Yeah, because I see Big Bang on here. Yeah, there's some cheer stuff or something. But Seinfeld right. and Friends and Mash it were, you know, they've been on longer. They've been syndication longer. Yeah. So that's a good question. Everybody loves Raymond. Interesting. It's not a terrible answer. Two and a half men. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I, I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with Seinfeld. I'm going to steal your yeah. answer. I'm a, I'll go with Friends. I like that. I like that answer too. I have definitely right. seen Friends more than most sitcoms. Who said Friends? You? Me? Yeah. Me. I'm now catching up on Seinfeld. Tim. Late. Depends on whether Friends is the 5.1. <laughs> but that's the thing is, like, when they say watch the most, you know what I mean, throughout time. Over and over and over again. Right. That includes all the reruns that you've watched and all, you know what I mean? So what's been rerun the most? There's a lot, there's a lot of nuance. A lot Will of nuance race. to the question. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Try to get deep. Well, I, yeah. think, I think Seinfeld and Friends are definitely on top. I mean, look at Seinfeld now. You can catch the... And Friends, you can catch them on Netflix. Mm-hmm. So... Seinfeld's Seinfeld Seinfeld? on Netflix? Yeah. Yeah, he, he made, a, like, one of the Hulu. biggest deal... Oh, was it Hulu? My bad. Hulu, okay. You okay. <laughs> idiot. What the... <laughs> 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 He don't say much, but when he does. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just right now more I'm than I ever have just before. Kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you finally are starting something funny. No, right. We finally agree on something. Gilligan's Island. <laughs> yeah. How old do you think that listener is? And I'm that's kidding. which one? Is, like uh, Gilligan <laughs> Island wasn't on long. Like Adam's Family was only on like a few seasons. Gilligan's, Gilligan's Island went from black and white to color. They were on so long. Why you gotta, <laughs> bring, why you gotta bring color into this? That's what I kept asking. <laughs> Wait a minute! I remember there ever being a color guy on Gilligan's Island. Yeah, the Harlem Globetrotters. There's a they black popped one. in. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Scooby Doo. Shit. No, that was the uh, no, that was the Globetrotters too. And everyone loved Raymond. Like I I'm didn't. not into the laugh track sitcom type of things. You know what I mean? But I was forced to watch reruns of it. You don't like it? Uh, it's it's a, a little pretentious it. of them saying everybody. I didn't mean everybody. Everybody like loves. You got to change one of those. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure <laughs> almost everybody, everybody was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flow very well. Yeah, Raymond. Some people love Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody likes them. Shit, right, yeah. friends. So 18 people said friends. 15 said family guy. 15 said Big Bang Theory. Ten said Modern Family and six said King of Queens. Seinfeld, not even on there. Wow. Thanks, Tommy. Pick that wow. Jerry. Number two. Name a famous Tim. Curry. Allen. Oh, oh <laughs> man, that's good. My first thought was Meadows. Those two are both better thoughts. I'm choosing between your two now. I like Tim Allen. Yeah. And Tim Allen's been in the news, so he's. Timothy, well. Timothy, Conway. Timothy, 
Timothy Hudson. No. Timothy uh, Oliphant. Timothy Oliphant. No, I probably chose that, though. I'm going to go with, uh, what? I'll go with Tim Curry. Tim Curry. My second guess would be me. Ooh. Timmy from South Park. Tim Curry, that's another Tim. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Forget Pennywise the Clown. That's Tim C. We got a Tim Burton, <laughs> Tim Conway, like, a couple of Tim Allen. That's me right there, Tim. Steve. I'm gonna go with Tim Allen. So, <laughs> okay, I'll stick with Kip. I'll, I'll stick with Tim Curry though. Man, I keep bumping this table. I'm gonna knock something down. Nah, you're good. Okay. I'm not sure if you've seen the equipment, but it won't cost much to replace it. <laughs> Since I'm not the one replacing it. <laughs> Oh, I like my segment. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Trickloff. That's right. Timmy. Well, we got always have one panderer. <laughs> What's up, Jorge? <laughs> no, Actually, that was, that was Mom's Pepsi. Jorge said, "Fuck Tim." Well, Tim McGraw. Ooh, Detox that's a good one. A Tiny good one. Tim. Tiny Tim. Throwback. You know who Tiny Tim is? SpongeBob. <laughs> they, play, they play one of his songs. No, they play oh, one of his okay, songs. Okay, right, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shit, I'm mean, like, no. <laughs> Ooh, generational game. Awesome. Right. There was no Let's Cartoon Charles, Network Charles when freaking he was around. <laughs> Tiny Tim. Now, that's a different kind of comedy, isn't it? Yep. It's just a weird it's song. It's kind of comedy that's not comedy. <laughs> 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 shit ain't funny. No, it's not. What kind of comedy do you like? I'm a mainstream kind of guy. <laughs> I like the funny kind. I'm a Roseanne kind yeah. of guy. No, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. All right. 28 people said Tim Allen. Oh, yeah. 17 said Tim Burton. Wow. 14 uh, said one. Tiny Tim. Tim Tebow. 10 said Tim, Tim Tebow. Yeah. And 8 said Tim McGraw. Not Number even, three. Not even a point for I'm killing comedy. it. No. Name something baseball players wear. Gloves. See how quick I am? I mean, it's next level. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I didn't think I'd be able to keep up with you. Man. Whoa. Cup. Baseball gloves, like right off the bat? Yeah, no, that's pretty Jeez. good. I was like... He tossed his hat. What'd you say, Mike? I said a cup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> shirt. <laughs> I mean... It's a baseball <laughs> shirt. It's yeah, true. Yeah. Socks. We'll go with shirt. Yeah. can't really wear a bat, I guess. <laughs> Let me show you. That sounds like a threat. You're going to be wearing you wear this bat. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> gobble says gloves. Mary says hat or cap. Or helmet. Jim says cup. Uniform. Jersey. Be-doop, be-doop. And Dale says you. <laughs> so what was y'all's answers? A shirt. <laughs> A shirt. <laughs> Thinking outside the box here, guys. <laughs> shirt. Uh, I said baseball glove. All right. Twenty-four people said cap. Baseball cap. Twenty said gloves. 15 said cup or jock strap. 13 said cleats. And 10 said uniform or jersey, which I gave you for. for. You did? Oh, no. Nice. hell not. That's a stretch, but you know. Just You're the guest. guest. All right. Tiff Money says cup. Just came in late. I'm going to better have it. Since it wasn't number one. Number four. What is the best competition reality show? So I banged your mom. <laughs> American Idol. Danger Mom. I banged your mom. I b- <laughs> How it I banged be, your mother? It would be the best. The best, the, the best. best reality show. Isn't that an oxymoron? Huh. Like, there is no the best. That's like the best worst. So anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with America's Got Talent. American Idol for me. Yeah. Which... Preacher Lawson Chris. was just on, right? Yeah. Fucking Holy killed shit. it. Right on. Like, he wasn't even expecting them to have to do another joke. And it he was kind of funny because that joke, it. the extra joke he did was 
what did the, it the best yeah that was yeah. the best one so it's surprising it's almost like you knew they were gonna ask you to do an extra show it almost feels that way but you it can feels, see the surprise yeah. in his face and he was running through his head no, no, I, I think, no I don't think he did but like, like, as like, speaking, almost you, like you can see him almost couldn't you like going oh shit oh shit which one am I gonna pull out and use well maybe it's cool cause like he gets to do more time and you can do like a couple minutes in you can do some more extreme shit than you could right you know, right yeah. off the bat more so, stage time yeah yeah more stage time that's that's some practice yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. every minute counts you know? mary, mary said ninja warrior i just saw the uh, team ninja warrior i thought ninja warrior was cool but team that's ninja cool, warrior really cool stepped show. up its game I oh like really that. okay I, I like that one yeah that was cool team ninja warrior. do ninjas really operate in teams what kind of you would never know <laughs> <laughs> He Nin- thought it says U.S. election. Ninja Turtles. Turtles. No. <laughs> cool. Right? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go with the OG. I'm going to go with the real world. I don't care what people say. The Bachelor would have been a good one, but I'm going to still... Bachelorette. I'm going to stick with American Idol. And what did Tim say? America's uh, got America's talent. America's got talent. bachelors. America's got ninjas. Ninjas got war. <laughs> ninjas <laughs> got talent. But you never know it. KC says naked and afraid. You know my problem with that show is they have Naked and Afraid Uncensored, but you still don't see any titties. How can you call that uncensored? It's a natural one. Yeah, it's a little bit less. They should call it less, less censored. censored. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which I like the voice better than... than uh, America's got not America uh, better than... Uh, what's American the other Idol. Huh? Well, yeah. I mean, Simon takes American Idol above the voice. For me, Simon Cowell. But he, but is he coming? To, like he needs to come back. That's that's what. Um, that's why no, yeah, American voice Idol now. Yeah, the voice now is better. But like Simon Cowell, everyone in my high school, especially the women, were just kept talking about. It. I hate Simon Cowell. But they still watch. But it's just like well, he's, he, he's, he's the reason. Villain, he's yeah. the reason the show like they needed a dick. Yeah, yeah, they no. need, like Paul Abdul. Was well, they drunk needed drunk. someone to say no. They he needed. Some, they needed a dose of reality. Some people just don't like reality. So no for me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Go for the big fan. No, I don't know. I forgot who that was. Yeah. 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 Like you want to hear? <laughs> the best journey bassist ever. <laughs> Nita says I once fought off a team of ninjas with a rake. Lies. Virtual. <laughs> Especially if it was one of the metal ones, because that shit just bends right back. Yeah, everyone knows the biggest enemy of ninjas is rakes. Yeah, they just he just left it on the ground. And, and they, they just kept stepping on it. <laughs> <laughs> they no, one, one of them <laughs> stepped on one and uppercut it. Like, <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. All right, 20 people said American Ninja Warrior. 19 said Survivor. 16 said Naked and Afraid. 14 said Big Brother. And 10 said Fuck Reality TV. I like that answer. That's funny. That's it's funny. not reality. That's a nice it's little bullshit. Do I have any points? No, I don't think I do. You're a loser. I think we, got, we struck out on that you one. You have one. I have one? Have points. Okay, cool. So give me the prize then. So Endo has four. <laughs> Tip with 11. <laughs> 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 Nitas with seven. Tim with 11. We got a two, a six, a five. Miri with 11. One, one, two, six, one, and one. Yo. Final question. First place to last place. So oh, the mighty have fallen, dude. The number one answer here is worth 10. All others are worth five. You ready? What word or phrase do you not want others to use to describe you? Faggot. <laughs> the words of Tim Trickloff do not represent that. Or book my glass. <laughs> Out of the gate, swing it. <laughs> Mom's Pepsi says the big C word. What, cordial? Cracker? You never call me cordial. I, I'm about to say, I can't top that. <laughs> I can't top that gum. offensiveness wise. <laughs> it's not going to work. Yeah. And Dale says bitch. Uh, I'm glad you figured LM that out. LM says cute. <laughs> boring. Tip money money says, says, I'm going to say er, boring. Let's go. Tip money says bitch. Boring? Yeah, boring. That is a good one. That's just rude. I'm going to say friendly. I like that. That's a good one. I don't want people to think I'm that's, friendly. I like that. What did Tim say? He said faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's my personal <laughs> favorite. I think he should win. I think you should win the competition. Trans. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, surveying Trump's uh, America. Uh, lesbian, gay, <laughs> bisexual, <laughs> trans. Like, he, he knows that these are, these are my All friends. Yeah. I'm wondering what he we got four people here. <laughs> His friends don't want to be called faggots. 
Probably not. I really don't want to be called that either. I mean, who wants to be called a bundle of sticks, right? Tim, Tim opens with that. Oh, <laughs> I call everybody else that. He just, he just, hey, says, he just, he just opens with uh, sub faggots. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you sleep a lot instead of doing stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't get a lot of work. I'm the one doing all the name calling here. Only me, yeah. That's one of the best openers for her. Nita says corny. Scott says little. Casey says coward. Mary says fat. This is actually the first week that I had a. Uh, Three-way tie on the top five. That's great. At top three. <laughs> That's all that really matters right now. To be all right, well, we can move on. You know why? Because Tim said faggot, so he's out of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> then do I win? <laughs> 15 people said boring. 15 said bitch. 15 said fat. Oh, 10 boring. said ugly. And 8 said asshole. Wait, did I get the most? No. No, okay. <laughs> you're, you're one plus ten did not looking. do it. Huh? But there is a tie, unfortunately. But no, I got the ten, though. That's cool. I hate to do this, but there's a tie, bro. So we have to have a tiebreaker. We have Tiff Money with 21 and Mary with 21. So this question is for them. Oh, Tiff we're not even Money in it. And Mary. You kept your dignity, though. I like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Faggot. Faggot. That's, that's the answer where you're just Keep like, up up. you know what? I don't care who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dude not pandering here. <laughs> yeah, you're not pandering. So the tiebreaker is, how many original episodes were there of the sitcom Home Improvement? Ooh, how many original episodes were there of the sitcom Home Improvement? I just watched the final one yesterday, and that was the tricky one. Tim Allen, I'm gonna help out full here. Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. <laughs> I'm gonna talk this out. That was nine seasons. At Wrong. 20, it was ten. No, it was ten seasons. No, it was eight seasons. It was eight full seasons. At twenty-four episodes, except for the last not seasons, season, Tiff. At three shows. How many shows were How there? How many shows? So twenty-four times eight. Go with that number. It's wrong, but it's close. So Tim Allen, Christmas with the Cranks. There's this really bad line in that. I, I like bad movies. She at like he goes, <laughs> he goes into the grocery store to get chocolate, and then he comes back and his wife he couldn't find it. His wife's like, "Did you ask the butcher?" Or like, "Sam, For chocolate. Sam, and the butcher." <laughs> so Tim, Tim I was just like, oh, uh, "Pardon me for not thinking to ask the butcher about chocolate." <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You do like that. Movies. So, I like yeah. <laughs> My favorite line of all time. <laughs> Mary says nine. Tiff Money says eight. That's a, all right. Mom says she said they're all original. Well, see, the reason I have to do this is because I've learned that if I don't specify, people will try to tell you, yeah, but they'll try to count all the reruns and shit. You know what I mean? Right. So first run, right. original episodes. 204. There was That's only eight lot. seasons. That That's is for lot. eight seasons? Wow. How long is a goddamn season? It was 24, ep- 24 episodes a season. And the Would that la- be 10 seasons? The last season um, had three, and there was probably some specials involved in there. That's crazy to me. I thought it would be a lot more, right? It, seems, it felt like it was on so much longer than eight seasons, That's didn't it? That's what most, I mean, most seasons, Big Bang Theory, 24. Goldberg's, 24 That's episodes a, a season. I don't keep up with that shit, you, dude. Well, I do. I'm a TV guy. Was that half an hour a show? 22 minutes. Yes, yeah, a half an hour. Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. How dare you, <laughs> faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just kidding. <laughs> you really yeah, you just called him the word he least wants to be called, dude. <laughs> I don't pay attention. My memory sucks too, bro. All right, so real quick, just to fill in a little time, I, I like go over the answers that didn't make the board. I don't know if you have them. Sometimes they're good. Usually they suck, but fuck it. We're going to talk about them anyway. Okay. So sitcoms, some of the ones that didn't make the board were The Office. Is that your kind of comedy? Oh, uh, I like The Office, but I... I only... Steve Carell carries it. I hate... Pam yeah. and Jim are, like, terrible. I hate that they even... It's annoying have, almost, I right? I hate that they have careers, even. <laughs> <laughs> I begrudge, I begrudge them their careers, yeah. Wow. I, I'm just about to end watching the whole thing for the second time. But after that, I, I can't see myself sitting down and watching an episode because it's on. A, yeah, I can't see that. It's too dry of a show. It's well, like the shock value of it sort of just wears off after you've seen it once. You know, it's an uncomfortable one. situation you know it's building. Gonna, it's up. like yeah, you, you you get over like the shock because dry humor is good yeah. in doses. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like yeah. you can't. Dry humor is not good. Long well, it's it's term, hard to right? binge watch too. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, there were two seasons where I felt like I didn't laugh once. There was a last season, awesome. pro- the last two. No, it was, no, it was like third and fourth. <laughs> Somehow it kept going. I but. feel better because I thought it was going to be just me that 
wasn't into The Office. Like, I didn't think it was that great Mark, of a show. Marks and Rex is dope, but, yeah. The Goldbergs. I like The Goldbergs. That's a funny answer. I haven't watched that at all. There's you really. haven't? Actually, I'll be honest with you, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like, it's better than you think it's going to be. You know what I mean? It's kind of like uh, The 40-Year-Old Virgin when I first saw that. Uh. That was not an actual come around, but the, it, no, when yeah, I first saw no. that, seeing that we, we went to that movie because the movie we were in sucked, so we just got up and went into another movie. Nice. Oh my god, what a fucking great movie that was, right? My dad did that with uh, Barry Lyndon and Young Frankenstein. He he left Barry Lyndon to go to Young Frankenstein. Sounds right, like the right move. That's a, that's, we went it to was the right move. we went yeah. to sneak into Iron Eagle, and they ended up playing Encino Man instead. That was a way better movie. <laughs> I'd imagine. <laughs> Is that the same kind of story? No, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, actually, the two cool things I like about the Goldbergs, one, 80s nostalgia. So they have great references. But the other one that I think is cool is the, um, the producer, Adam F. Goldberg, actually has video footage of when he was a kid. So the story is very much based around him growing up, and then he'll show footage of the scene from back in the 80s when he was growing up about you know a specific scene. Which was pretty cool. Ruined it for me because he doesn't actually have a sister named Erica, which is his sister on the show. It's his brother <laughs> named Eric. They changed it for wow. for writing purposes. Well, maybe now he is uh, an Eric. It could be. He could be trans How or a faggot. I mean, what's, the, what's the world coming oh to? Oh my right? god! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I just overstepped my bound. No. <laughs> the, opi- the opinions of Tommy Gill and Tim Seto. <laughs> Tim Tricklecock. So anyway, listen, we got, I'm being yelled at right now because I didn't announce the winner of the damn game. Oh, I, that's right. Who's we yelling? were busy doing stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're getting typed at in all caps? Is that what's going on? It, it oh, is actually, not, what is happening? Dude, not just all caps, but, but there's like 30 extensions. Yeah, there might be 60 O's on hello right there. Oh. All right, so the winner was Mary. <laughs> like Lionel Richie. Mary, winner. Woo! Good job, Mary. Anticlimatic. So <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Good job, Mary. Was she the one that yelled at you? Yeah. No. Oh man, that's got to be a. <laughs> but I'm sure she's the one sitting it's there going. Got to be a letdown. He didn't even uh, tell me I won. So anyway, two broke girls. Huh. Never I gave, I I gave up kind. on season three. I, just seeing commercials for that, I'm just good like, enough, I enough. don't want to watch that at all. How about that '70s show? Yep, good show. Uh, I haven't watched much of it. We're just naming shows. Yeah. These, these are answers that actually came in that just oh. I didn't get enough people didn't say them to oh. get make it in there. So the last two, how about Golden Girls? I know, I know you're watching Thank you for Golden being Girls. a friend. I hate so, Betty White. She annoys me, but go ahead. I, so I, she is overdone. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm over oh, the, yeah. she's oh, yeah. 91. Totally. I yeah, die, yeah. No, absolutely die yeah. already. She's right. older, yeah. she's older exactly. than sliced yeah. bread. Right. Literally. <laughs> no, seriously. You're she not really wrong. Is. That's an actual yeah, that's fucking meme. Yeah, I like it's the way he laughs at facts. It's true, bro. College educated. I didn't learn that in college. <laughs> that wasn't one of the You're three still things. college That's educated. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there's only two Tims. Conway and Tim A were the only two that didn't actually make the board. Wow. Because Tim Allen just kind of walked away with it. Competition shows. AGT was on there, which that's one of my new favorite shows, to be honest with you. There's, some, there's actually some good shit on there. I'd imagine, yeah. Have, you guys don't ever watch any of it? I don't have cable. Go to YouTube and just watch clips. I, I mean, yeah, I don't like, have it either. it's not worth it. I got better things to do. Sleep. Yeah. Right, I get it. <laughs> like American Gladiator, I think American Ninja Warrior pretty much kind of put the squab bomb on that, right? Oh yeah, but that was—I mean, two decades later. I'd like to see Gladiator versus a ninja. A ninja would kick his ass. Like a reality show. Oh, that would be freaking awesome! A ninja versus a gladiator. You yeah. think the ninja would win? Yeah, gladiators are just steroided up. A ninja would never see him coming. I mean, he would never see a ninja coming. <laughs> if they'd ask if they wanted the ninja to kill the gladiator, they give him the thumbs up, but like the ninja's already gone. Right. It's finish him. Done. Yeah. Boom. I'm already out. Now I'm going to go rape a village. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. Single-handedly. Jorge says, did, did Tommy just throw shade at Betty White? <laughs> yeah, Betty White sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Jorge's like, I love her. <laughs> Betty White's the worst. Speaking Betty White, I love that bitch. So, don't call me that. So, things that you don't want to be called. This is the freaking worst. Adorable. Like that's what your grandmother does, right? Like the old, the old cheek. cheek thing. I'll creepy. Take, I'll take How many times have you been called creepy, Tommy? I mean, not to my face. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard rumors. I don't want to hear it. There's a certain level of creepy where people are afraid to call you creepy, you know? <laughs> so you might so, be that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's possible. So there's certain situations where creepy is acceptable? 
Well, no, it's just like they're so creepy. You're so creepy that people are like, I'm not going to call that guy creepy because that would entail being near him to call him creepy. Oh, this is true. Yeah. I, got, I don't want to get that close to him because yeah, he's fucking yeah, creepy. Yeah, so we'll buffer just, zone. Right. <laughs> I'll just be like, isn't that guy creepy? Yeah, no. So I hate this word. I don't know. Is cunt. it the N word? Oh, okay. I like that cunt. one better. Do you, do you use that word? It's uh, it's. It feels dirty, don't it? Like guilt, I use it. It's a little guilty. Huh? I use it like you what know, guilty pleasure once in a while. Like I love it every New Year. I use know? it so much. It's <laughs> like, like when mom's acting yeah, up. I just yeah. call it. No. So I'm waiting, head, I'm waiting for the next word, the next bad word like that. What like, like cunt? Like cunt has lost its meaning to me because I've said it so much. I'm I'm waiting for the next one. What, no, what is it? Ugh. I like, hearing, I like hearing other people say it. <laughs> I, don't say, I don't say it. Like, you know, I'm... Dude, it's one of my wife's favorite words in the whole world. Until I call her one. And then all of a sudden she hates the fucking word. I don't understand. Oh, go it, figure, yeah. it makes no it's sense, right? It's standard, yeah. Right. So then I just punch her in the face and it's all better. <laughs> so someone says drunk bitch. Drunk bitch? You remember that? You never called Tommy's her drunk a bitch? Tommy's a drunk bitch. Oh. <laughs> well, that's well, I've, been called, I've been called both of those things. I'm surprised. Not, it's yeah, together? No. Not yeah, as a compound not word? Not together, yeah, right. but I'm sure, you know, all in, all in good time. <laughs> hypocrite? Hypocrite. Are you a hypocrite? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're religious. No, I'm just kidding. Well, <laughs> yeah. Get that. <laughs> lazy? I don't mind being called lazy. Right. <laughs> Lazy's not so bad. I'm pretty lazy. Yeah. Lazy's not bad? Nah. What's well, America now, I'm right? lazy, right? I'm 37. I'm allowed to be. Leave me alone. Yeah. Lazy, adorable, and cute? Like, who's complaining? About any of those Getting things? White. What the hell's wrong with that? <laughs> How about snobby? Have you ever been called snobby, Tim? I can see you being called snobby. I don't know. That's fine. I'm, People not thinking that you like them, even though you do, just because... Yeah, let me, let me drop a quote. Go ahead. Roger Ebert. Snobs don't include. Snobs exclude. Because people called Roger Ebert snobby for liking black and white movies. Like they're just no. That's not snobby, is it? It's just no, stupid. no. It's not. No, it's not. No. <laughs> it makes him pretentious, <laughs> but not snobby. But I he doesn't. Know. He doesn't exclude new movies. Is the thing. Yeah. Right, just that's, because he likes just, old movies. Just, yeah, yeah. It's like, just like that's a quote. He's I'm not like, against yeah, missionary. Yeah. He, he actually just like, likes you know, bondage. You put it out there like that because just because I like this doesn't mean I don't like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and so. I hate that too because like I watch classic movies yeah, and classic exactly, TV shows yeah. and she hates them. But she never really called me snobby. She's called me like a dork and nerd and all that other yeah, shit, but yeah, never I mean, snobby for it. It's too close and to snotty. Here's one I like. Snotty. Just snotty? two letters away. Man. Snotty? I've never been Just called making snotty. making these connections. I don't you guys thought about this. I've been called a dick. <laughs> You've been called a dick? Or a douchebag. Snotty. To your face? You? Yeah. I don't care. That's what makes me a dick. And here's one I kind of like, though. Last one. Looks like you look like just like your mother. Or you look just like your father. Or you look just like your brother or your aunt. Oh, uh, okay. That was a pretty good fucking answer. Only one person said that's it, but good, that's my favorite that's answer. That's a good answer, answer. yeah. It I, is, right? Because that shit gets old after a while. Yeah, because, I mean, it's usually just people making conversation. Because you don't look, yeah. Yeah. check shit like who they're telling you you look like, usually. Not now. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> How about you? What happened? You ever been told you look like somebody? Uh, I usually get, uh, it, at the time it was David from Roseanne, so now it's the kid uh, John Galecki from Big Bang Theory, and Jack Black. Jack, yeah. Jack Black? Yeah. Because I usually walk into a room that, going, yeah. what up? So you're hanging out with blind people. <laughs> yes. That's beautiful. Well, it's Cam's girlfriend was the one that said it. Cam's girlfriend? Well, yeah, she knows she's yeah. blind. She's with Cam. I didn't know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Your eyes aren't working. Go and shade it, Cam. <laughs> it's a shady show. <laughs> Let's shade the fuck out of this segment because, god damn it, everyone's over it anyway, right? Yep. Were you ready? Congratulations, Mary. I mean, I'm busy, but no, no, let's do stuff. Good job. Congratulations, Mary. Woo, Mary! You win. (laughs) What you win? Did we give a special prize? Oh, yeah, no, that was a fucking bullshit. (laughs) That was just to get him to listen. Welcome to Open Mic. You get nothing. (laughs) Good day, sir. Surprise, bitch. (laughs) You get the win. (laughs) All right, so now that we have uh, created some sort of false advertisement rules, I'm sure we have broken. I don't care. Go to get another beer. We'll be back after this. And uh, we're going to play what, Stanley? No. No, we're going to tell you about some Floridians, faggots. All right. (laughs) See you later. Welcome back to Open Mic. Get that dry, because we're doing Florida Stories. Who's 
this. Don't say it without the right Sounds like a discount Go Beach Boys. Believe it or not, it's actually um, somebody more famous, as famous. As the Beach Boys. Yeah. Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Uh, yes. It is? It. No. No? Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> hmm? Ice Ice Baby? It is Vanilla Ice. That was Vanilla Ice. See, bro? Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, he's, if he's as famous as the Beach Boys, I mean, <laughs> just, well, give it a few <laughs> years and he'll, be, and he'll be eliminated by the, <laughs> the, world's going to hell. the world's greatest critic. <laughs> All right, so this is Floridians, where we bring you, today will be one story about some dumbass in Florida. Actually, I don't even know if I think this guy's a dumbass. He's just angry. Maybe. So like I said earlier, this is about the angry neighbor. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't know. I don't blame this guy, to be honest with you. So a grumpy old man caused uh, multiple injuries after he allegedly unplugged a bounce house at a girl's birthday party in Port St. Port St. Lucie. Is that Lucie or Lucy? Lucy. Lucy. So according to CBS 12, the, the party, which also included a DJ, was on May 21st and was hosted by the girl's mother. Surveillance cameras on the house appear to show the grumpy neighbor pulling the plug and walking away. Like he just walked up in there in the middle of his party and Yoink. <laughs> pulled the <laughs> fucking plug and, and Drop headed it. out and out. Drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> so they believe he thought he was unplugging the DJ station, but may have unknowingly unplugged the bounce house. That makes him a floor idiot. <laughs> That's awesome. right, follow the cord, asshole. He doesn't even know what he's fucking doing. Right, if you're going to sneak into a party, well, no. then you're going to wreck shit. Wreck it. Out. Just unplug everything. Right. Go yeah. all out. You right? But so so then the music's still playing and I I, I wonder what music was on. <laughs> the house is falling down on everybody. <laughs> it was better than the house flying away like one, one kids did a couple years ago. You all saw that, right? Where the freaking bouncy house freaking yeah. took off into the wind. Don't put a bouncy house on the beach when a tornado's coming, dumbasses. Right. Oh, there's a tornado coming. Let's blow up a bouncy house. Yeah, that wasn't in, on the beach, but yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> I threw those kids up like 30 feet in the air. You didn't hear that story a couple years back? I'm looking up. Tornado. It's like, awesome. Oh, that, no, that shit literally went. It, and and it people with people the, in it? It took oh, the yeah. bounce house up. Uh, I think it was like 30 feet. Did people like freaking did yeah. people <laughs> die? Well, you would think if you're in a bounce house, that's the safest thing to come down. Yeah, they in. have a bunch ah. of. Uh, they were like a bunch of airbags. So but I guess when you plugs on the way, <laughs> it's not so bouncy. On the way I mean, you. Down. I mean, you would think so, but <laughs> yeah, there Spotter. were injuries. So here's the thing: is there was multiple children at the party had to seek medical attention due to the incident. A deflating bounce house. Well, think about that. So that's what at least three, four feet off the ground. Like if you were going from ground to the top of the bouncy part. But it doesn't just go... I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's it, not saying, like, it, right. like someone so jumps s- up and then it just so deflates. So slowly it. Oh, right. Right. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. How many, ki- if, how many kids were in there? It, it's going to sink pretty fast, but it's not going to sink. The hole's this big, bro. There's a no, it's not. It, the hole's this big. That's a big hole. Oh, it's a wow, big, it's, bro. Yeah. yeah, I can't I think some, that. I think some kid, like, juggernaut charged another kid, and they just blamed that on, like, the bounce house. He ripped the one. Yeah. <laughs> blamed what? The, blamed him. So even after this, even after injuries and going to the hospital and all that, the only thing he may be charged with is trespassing. Because what did he do? Well, then why file charges? I mean, if you're only going to get the guy with trespassing... Prove a point. Don't be a dick. To prove a point. Yeah. Well, I like, prove... Preface him with a grumpy old man. Why just <laughs> grumpy be, old man be trespassing? Old man. So you think that the, grumpy the, old man trespassing? You think the fine of, of trespassing is going to stop him from doing that shit again? He's still going to be grumpy. What's a trespass? Right. It's, like, it's like it's like serial killers. Once you do one, then you know right. he's just, <laughs> <laughs> he got to taste. He's going to deflate a bunch of bounce houses. <laughs> oh, yeah. a, a spree. <laughs> Me like he's a serial bounce house and blugger. See, it's funny because, like, the, the story kind of resonates with me a little bit, but, like, I can tell it, it doesn't really with you guys, but did you guys play outside a lot when you were kids? I did a lot of bounce houses. One time I, like, Mission Impossible into a bounce house. I forgot, like, I, for some reason there was, like, a hole in the roof, and, like, I climbed up onto the bounce house. I brought, like, the There was a roof. hole in the roof. I brought the whole roof down with me, <laughs> but, like, I freaking jumped into the bounce house. Brought I might have, like, down. landed on a kid. He was like, yo, what are you doing, dude? I blew, uh, <laughs> I blew the roof off this place. <laughs> Hold on. How did you get to the bounce house if you fell through the roof? Of the bounce house? Oh, of the, of the bounce house. I was confused, huh? 
Well, you, it's funny. You climb a bounce house, and instead of you going up, like that, part, goes, of, <laughs> that part of the bounce house goes down. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I thought supportive. this thing was going to hold me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, on those bounce slides, those things are awesome. Bounce slides? Oh, those are yeah. the best, dude. Bounce slides. Uh-huh. You, you climb up them. It's, you imagine a bounce house, but it's a giant damn slide. Literally, you climb up to what would be like the pitch of the roof of a house. Oh, yeah. And then you just slide down. But you get tired. They get kind of hot, though, right? They burn you. No, because you got water running all the time. Oh, it's like water slide. Water slide. Yeah, it's water slide. Water, 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 slide. water bounce. Yeah. Slide. If well, I see one on the side of the road, I'll pull over. And like take even pictures, now, like nowadays, they don't like that. No, I'll jump. <laughs> <laughs> I, just a couple weeks ago, I went to a church and jumped around their bounce house. And what did they say? <laughs> well, it was just there. It was just inflated. Hold on. It was like a Tuesday or something. Just out in the open. It was you're, just you're a bounce house. Yeah, they busted out, those idiots. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. I can't say that I wouldn't do that. I might. I cannot say. Yeah, take advantage, you know. When I mean, I can't say I wouldn't do it in the middle of someone else's party. You're an opportunist. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, I like bouncing. I like bouncing, <laughs> dude. You should, you should, John Jacobs that shit. Ah. <laughs> Bounce house live, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Eating a Big Mac. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of profanity in front of kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody there. You get kicked. <laughs> so. He doesn't like people enough to go be to a great, party, bro. Great to have a bounce house all to yourself. Mount Pussy made a good point in... <laughs> Live in a bounce house. Yeah. <laughs> this is my bounce house. Welcome. The kids, kids panicking and trying to get out of the thing when it's happening could cause an issue, too. Hold on. Listen. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been on a, on a float when the tube is... When, it's, when you got a leak in it? Have you ever experienced that? It doesn't just leak in one place. Imagine you have five kids in there. Just say five kids. It's going to settle at five different points. So now you have three feet of vinyl lo- layering... That is caving in at different points. Yeah, but now you can just buy that black shit that you just tape along the bottom of it and it'll hold it all together, right? Not while it's fucking deflating. Yeah, with five Yeah. Feet. It's not going to hold it all together when it's deflating. When you take it You can it use it underwater. I just saw the commercial, dude. It's Flex Seal. I know. It's awesome. Is it? Have I you used use it? I use it for pool stuff, yeah. Do you really think that they split that boat in half and took off in it? I do. I really trust them. Do you guys trust infomercials? Like, like have you reality? seen? You oh, see what you're talking about right? The, the flex the tape. The, with the tape. The flex tape. <laughs> they saw the boat now. We took this boat. They put the tape yeah. on the boat. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, we yeah, took yeah. this screen. <laughs> I'm guessing by your response that yeah. you don't believe it. Yeah. They use the knife from another I mean, infomercial. It's, it's like <laughs> to cut that uh, I have <laughs> actually used the flex tape on my paddleboard. Well, it's, it's funny. I believe yeah. it, but it's like, you know, when when would that come into play? On my paddleboard, when it was leaking, I patched yeah. it up so it doesn't take water anymore. But, no, I mean, but literally, like, a boat getting sliced. Listen, I don't right. know how you boat, <laughs> like, but... <laughs> man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to fix this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I've never actually seen a boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. That's a, a, he's proving you know, a point for dramatic boat. effect. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. It's fucking infomercial. That's the worst boat. case scenario. Abs- your boat Just gets in sliced case, in half. <laughs> your boat perfectly slices down the middle. I mean, it's too bad they didn't have that <laughs> shit like on the Titanic, dude. <laughs> uh, no, they had a bounce house for the sides. Yeah, it's really love fishing, yeah. It was the same thing. <laughs> same material. And they had a blower on the side, too. It kept it afloat. <laughs> and they put kids in there to jump in there. So that's all you got to do, really, right? Just is, put kids in unplug it? the blower. Yes. That's what I'm saying. The, blow, the blower has an opening this big. It blows that much air in at one time. When, you unplug it, where's all that air going to go? Back the other way. It's not like it has like a, a trap on it or a check valve. Speaking of the Titanic, women and children first is like a good rule for like a bounce yeah, house get them, too. Yeah, right. Get, get yeah. them the fuck out of my hair. Yeah, then. Oh. <laughs> right? Single file line, yeah. Bounce what? out of here. I, I don't know. What the hell has that got to do with what he said? I don't know. I, I just want to... I don't, I don't like know, women man. or children. So. <laughs> It's just a good idea just to throw them overboard t- first. The, the, the slides, you know, the, the with the water and stuff, there's a Titanic-themed slide. It's <laughs> awesome. Isn't that, yeah. That's kind of messed up, right? Going We're down, just, bitches. It's a game <laughs> now, yeah. Remember this tragedy? Here, slide on down. I hope Vanilla Ice does a concert with that. <laughs> yeah. Spe- slides, like, remember the old sack slides? Where you get in the... Sit sack in the big slides. Oh, yeah, sack the yellow slide down, at like the fair, absolutely. Florida State Fair has or whatever. It's the best slide ever. It is. Yeah, remember? That is the best slide huh? ever. <laughs> what? Have you ever? Have you ever? Do, you never. You've been to the Florida State Fair. I've never been on a slide. Okay, so slide. they have a slide that <laughs> is, um, I would say, two stories, and you get into a potato sack because it's oh, slides sacks. Down. I think you said sex slide. It's a sex slide too. It's a sex sack slide. The kids don't like it. But 
<laughs> sorry. My E's and A's all sound like When you're like, old, your sack does drag. And it's a sack uh, slide. That's called dragging. That's not sliding, uh, bro. That's two different fucking things. All right, I'm fine. You don't care? No. Nope. Why not? Because I'm still sliding. Woo! Just avoid grumpy old men. <laughs> they can't unplug that. So that's what I was saying was, like, we used to, we, always, we were always outside. You know what I mean? Back, we, just always outside up until, well, I was fit. Like, we didn't have cell phones until I was an adult. You know what I mean? You guys had them when you were, what, 10, 12, somewhere in there? No? I still had pagers in high oh. school. You did? A cell phone was wasn't, a cell phone was just about to break it, ma- make it mainstream. Not like, this Zach big. Morris had the brick, but yeah, no, I, we still had a pager. So you dealt with that. I mean, did you ever have that neighbor that wanted to keep your keep your ball, your frisbee, or whatever the hell it was? Um, we had the old man. Um, yeah, if you anything ended up in his yard, you weren't getting it. He was so bad that he tricked all the neighbors into signing a document. I forget what it had to do with. But he ended up putting no parking signs all down the street, and everybody bought it, and he submitted it to the city, and they all put no parking signs. So you had to park in a driveway, or you park in the street, and he will call the company on them. And like we've been there before, where cops were called, it was ridiculous. But like no parking so, signs, you buy from Spencer's Gifts or no an like official no parking city sign. no parking signs. He got city enforced parking signs out on the street, and his yard was shithole. It's funny, it. like not not all geniuses are productive. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, he was retired. <laughs> well, and you know what he did? He That's re- some genius shit, but like, he, reported, he, didn't, he didn't really contribute to society there. He what, used you know, his genius to. He reported stuff to the city all the time because he a got a kickback. <laughs> he would get a kickback every time he made a phone call and they got cited. <laughs> That's a great so, kickback. Like That's man, the word. Yeah. He's like, I'm retired. I've been retired for 20 it's years. It's the graph, dude. <laughs> That's the kind of grumpy old man I want to be. <laughs> That's a good one. Pick on the neighborhood. Grumpy old man making bank. Yeah. Get off my yard, kids. Can you picture yourself being a grumpy old man? I can't wait. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna take my front door down and just have a screen. But yeah, <laughs> just yell. Yeah, put on. You gotta put on the friendly old man mask and be like, "Oh yeah, you can park there." Nah, they don't. <laughs> right, gotcha. <laughs> 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 Idiot primal fear, bitch. <laughs> gotcha. Thank welcome. Not. <laughs> so you talk about geniuses a lot. I do, yeah. Do you, I mean, are you striving yeah, to be yeah. one? Huh? Well, I'm, I, I like... I admire... No, no. I think that is a no. That was no. too many. I had to say... No, I, I, I admire... Like, I, I admire... Uh, I like great people. Yeah, me too. So, I, so like... My standard for achievement is like very, kind of high. Is really high. I always say like there are ten thousand people in the history of the world that weren't losers. <laughs> <laughs> so like you know, you follow that. It's ten, not very. I, I, I even think ten thousand is a little high. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch. That's a generous. <laughs> <laughs> That's positive thinking, my friend. I like, uh, I like about call you. me an optimist. Tim. <laughs> my brain is half full. <laughs> so freaking, but anyway, so one of my you used to do one liners, right? When you first started doing comedy, yeah, and now you still kind of yeah. trickle them in there. Yeah, I but you just that. put one on Facebook Usually. that I kind of liked actually. Okay, because it, it does make sense. She, you said when someone's a genius, people often refer to them as ahead of their time, right? Yeah. I want to be ahead of my time, but not by much. Just by like five seconds. Right? Can you finish this or no? That way, whenever I tell someone an idea, they'll be like, that idea sucks. Nah, you know what? That's, that's all right. <laughs> that's <really good. laughs> Seconds later, yeah. caught up with it. Yeah. Like, that is, I love that. <laughs> I want to be ahead of my time, but not that far ahead of my time. Because then you just wasted your time. Yeah. Right? Because there have been like people that have done that, right? They've invented things that were way ahead of his time. You freaking die and was- a loser, and then you become a winner like post mortem. Yeah. Like that look shit. at Tom from MySpace. He was ahead okay. of his time. France, wants to know which, I think which he's still a loser. France, France Kafka, the author. <laughs> but he was he ahead told of his, his time. best friend <laughs> to burn all his books because he thought they were terrible. But his best friend was like, nah, they're great. So it kept him now. I think there was genius, some reverse psychology. But shit. he di- but he died. Oh, I like that. <laughs> he's like, no, go ahead and burn him. He knew goddamn well he wasn't going to burn yeah, him. Yeah, he's like, nah, I'm not. <laughs> if he, yeah, if he, told, a fucking genius. If he told him to be like, yo, 
preserve preserve my books. These are some awesome yeah. shit. Then he would have been like, yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm not doing what you tell me to do. <laughs> Someone wants to know what your IQ is. Do you know what it is? I mean, uh, you've, you've had to have taken a Facebook quiz at some point. I took, I took one, I took one test, and it was like 130. A legitimate test? I took an app test. Yeah, it was it's fun to read. I was telling you, it wasn't out of like it's fun, it's fun, it's fun to read the the reviews for uh, IQ test apps on uh, what do you the mean? Android. Well, it's it's uh, predominantly negative. People <laughs> <laughs> <It's, laughs> are stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like, stupid. It's like yeah, you, you hear shit like uh, it's broken. You <laughs> 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 spell broken with an I. <laughs> it's broke in. <laughs> Like, you are right, though. Or like <laughs> IQ tests don't measure intent. <laughs> it's like IQ tests don't measure intelligence. Then why'd you download it, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> intelligence, intelligence quotient, right? No, that's what it's called. Yeah, but it, so it measures intelligence in quotations. I like that. It's, it's pretty good. I don't. I I actually I had one say like I was one thirty one, one forty, and I was like, no, that's. That's fucking wrong. I That's always send it to high. like a uh, like beginner. You know, <laughs> that, oh, beginner. you can do that. <laughs> I just put my. I just say I'm twelve, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I get like, then I get like a two hundred. <laughs> See, I was always right until I got married, and now I'm just always wrong. Yep. it's just the way that shit she works. She breaks you down. Yeah, like I was a genius, and now I'm just fucking stupid. <laughs> really, because she knows that. I mean, she knows more than I could ever imagine knowing. She's one of the people who says, you know, I forgot more than you'll ever know. Well, if you keep forgetting shit, how much that's do you good, really that's know? Quote. That's a good quote. I forgot more than you ever know. You never heard that before? It's the dumbest fucking I've, quote around. I haven't heard that, yeah. Because like, if you're forgetting things, I've then what more do you, you ever know? know. You just have a bad memory, though. Right, exactly. And now I'm fucking stupid. Right. So I guess you know, <laughs> <laughs> guess you know more than me now. <laughs> <laughs> guess you have the upper hand in this. <laughs> so, you know what? Next week on Open Mic Live, we're going to do an app test. And just see how smart our fucking listeners are. (laughs) (laughs) That's how we show you next week. (laughs) We have a band coming. I'm guessing it's not going to go well. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Bands are very smart. I was just playing. (laughs) Hi, Hi, Destiny. I love you. No, no. no, 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 They 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 tested (laughs) celebrities, IQ wise, comedians, actors, singers. Is that how it goes? I like that. Yeah. yeah. Because singers, you don't have to be intelligent to sing. It's just a talent. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's You're like, lucky. You know, you don't You're really... born with it. Yeah, it's just... And that's the thing about comedians is, we've talked about that before, is you do have to be intelligent. Having a good singing you... voice is just like being good looking. Because you yeah. have to be well educated to be able to be a comedian. You know what I mean? You just have to be well Well, some people make it, and yeah, but... And you have to be able to see, like, all sides of any situation, right? Like, you have to be able to see this... I think it's not really it's like, it's like an in- It's like an intelligence that's more of a... It's more of a common sense intelligence, but like or common a lot knowledge, of, a lot maybe of, a not lot common of people, sense. A lot of people don't. Because I mean, a lot, I've met a lot of John po- Jacobs. I don't like common a lot of sense <laughs> is what I would call it. I think. Uh, <laughs> 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 Live and driving, baby. <laughs> Goddamn Big Matt. <laughs> He's done that twice. The uh, if one hand's doing this, the other hand's doing this. But, uh, yeah, I like yeah. I like when he freaking uh, actually took pictures of him getting pulled over. Yeah, no, nah, he's, he's that, the best. I, that guy's fucking nuts. My brother, bro. my brother and I started playing a game. Where we were like trying to think of like random John Jacobs punchlines. So there's that like that quote, "Click it or tick it." It was like, "Click it or lick it." Like, <laughs> click, click it or lick it. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon to Facebook Live to you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So what are you gonna be doing coming up here, Tommy? You got anything going on? Any, anywhere you're gonna be? No. Did you listen to her in the second segment? <laughs> no, that's what he's been doing. I'm asking the future. <laughs> no. I've got a Lakeland show, but it's basically an open mic. And it's in Lakeland. I hear, so. I, I'm friends with the host. I hear tell, I hear tell other people are getting paid, and I'm not. So Sounds with, like Jip. with friends like these, you know. <laughs> 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 no, I know why Tim doesn't go do shit. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> we'll just walk off with the mic. Y'all thought this shit was free. <laughs> and they just use that every show you go to from now on. Just unplug it. Right. 
<laughs> and then when you're off stage, just talking to an, an unplugged in mic to everybody that you're talking just to. Just that tape to your hands. Tommy doesn't need a mic. That makes it a prop comment. That's maybe a prop comment. No, it doesn't make it a prop comment. I don't need a mic, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't need a mic half the time, so. You can just be the one prop comic. The white prop comic? Why not white? Why are you making this a race thing? <laughs> yeah, white, white prop comic. That's like a, that's like a tautology. That's <laughs> yeah, I hate prop comics. I really do. I, I ugh. Like, uh, yeah. I hate Gallagher. I mean, he's like not, he's like it's below stupid. prop comics. And he makes a mess. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking stupid. No, he, he provides the, the splash, splash zone. It's like, what are you, Shamu or something? <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> oh, Telecom's Good. dead. All right, so it, during the break, I went and checked my, my messages with Tommy to make sure that my memory was correct. But I had mentioned that for my birthday, July 22nd, Jonas was going to come and, and perform. And oh, so I am going. That's right. <laughs> You're going to be there. <laughs> I'm going to be there. Yeah. You still not get paid. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have an extra mic in there. You know. You know what? You're I can. Paid. I can handle that. No, you still get paid. And then you know, following you and Jonas, we have a, a band coming up that is going to be kind of a lot of fun, actually. Cool. But it's going to be a blast. You're welcome to show up. I mean, I'll have cots and hammocks there if you want to lay down and take a nap at some point. <laughs> okay. It's cool, bro. Perfect. But guys, I really do really appreciate you coming in. And I mean, if I would say let us know what you want to, you know, us to put out there, but we know. <laughs> <laughs> we still love you guys, though. Keep up the good work. <laughs> so, like, we go to a lot of shit. If we invite you to go to something, would you be willing to go out and hang out with us no. and freaking enjoy shit? I'm not. You guys can go in my house. I, I went to the Jonas show. I know you did. If, it, if, it's someone, if it's someone I respect, then yeah. Well, if it wasn't someone we respect, then we wouldn't be going. But I, I have to respect them. <laughs> Yeah, it was I pretty to, much but the same I have to know him. But I have to know him before I respect him. So, yeah, yeah, but I'm sure you know people you don't respect. This is true. I respect people I don't know. Yeah, you Such know. I mean. Oh, <laughs> so thanks again, guys. Everyone, say, say hello to the listeners. Hello, everybody. That's it, guys. You're welcome. We are going to stop doing this shit now and let you go. All right, we love you guys. You're fucking awesome. Seriously, thanks. Mike. Something to say? Thanks for letting me be a part of your show. Listen to all of our friends. Nitwit.tv coming on after us, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow night, you have Spicoli TV at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Fast Time. Times. <laughs> and then Saturday night, you have the show with no name at 9 p.m. on the no name network dot, no name network dot net. Yep. Right? Yep. God, that's, that's a tongue fucking twister. Mouthful. And next week, from this fire. From this fire, the band will be in. And then the following week will be Lawrence Green. Steve Dadder. LG. And don't forget to check out ironbroadcast.com. It carries all of our shows and plays the best local music around. 